Hello folks, welcome back to My Solar Addiction. And today we're going to do a video on hardwiring solar assistant to both of my inverters. Now I currently have solar assistant connected to my Flexboss 21 and my 18KPV uh, via this Pi, this orange Pi. And using the Wi-Fi connection, I am able to use Solar Assistant to monitor my system, which is a real-time information. And that's why a lot of us solar-addicted people like that uh, Solar Assistant to monitor our system because of that real-time information. The EG4 app has a delay. My Solark system that I used to run also had a delay. And that's why I liked Solar Assistant for all of my energy storage systems running my house. So because of the latest upgrade of the firmware on the Wi-Fi dongle, the Wi-Fi dongle has been upgraded to be encrypted to make it more hacker proof or harder for someone to hack. And as a result of that, the Wi-Fi connection, if I use the more modern dongle versus my older dongle that I have on here that's not encrypted, it would not work. So I wanna have that encryption because I don't want anybody to hack my system when I'm using Wi-Fi but I also still wanna have Solar Assistant. So we're gonna make two cables using one of these little converters, USB converter to 485, and gotta make sure that we wire it correctly, but we're gonna make a cable for each one of them to connect to the pine, that way I'm not using Wi-Fi and I can still have the en encrypted dongles so that uh, I'm, I'm less likely to be hacked and I can still have my Solar Assistant, which I love to use to monitor my system. So let's do a hard wiring of Solar Assistant to an EG4 18KPV as well as a Flexboss 21. Okay, so before I start uh, cutting up wires to um, connect my uh, 18KPV and my Flexboss 21 to my Pi via cable, RJ45 cable versus Wi-Fi, I got to make sure my cables are long enough so I don't just destroy a cable for nothing. And uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the cover off of this wiring trough and we're gonna make sure that our cable can run through the wiring trough. There's a, a port on the side here I already have cut out for things going to my Pi. And we'll make sure it can go from the Flex Boss to the Pi, from the 18K to the Pi. I have to go around like this, all the way to here. That's long enough for sure for the 18K. Let's go over here. We need to go around this and then come down here and then go this way. And then we need to loosen this up. <clears throat> run this bad boy right out that hole there we go all right then and this is gonna go around the back like that so I found me some shielded cable and it's just long enough I'm gonna see if I can make it work because this would be better Don't need blue. Don't need green. So we can start by eliminating those. I think that's brown on the left. Yep, that's Mr. Orange. Let's get rid of him. Mr. Green. Alright, what we got here is a failure to communicate. Alright, so until I'm ready to completely get some slack make my life a little easier to do this I think I'm gonna put a couple ferrules on it and see if that makes it work a little bit better get better contact hopefully Oh, 
485A. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. And it's in. definitely pull them out if I wanted to. A and then B. B. This is going to be A. Itty bitty screwdriver. Let's see if they'll fit now. There you go. B. And we got A. Should be good enough for government work. And it should look sort of like this. Let's ferrule these puppies because this is going to go on the side with the USB. And that seems to work really well with the ferrules. This little guy this is A and B, brown at the top, brown white at the second from the top. So it's A is the top and brown white is B is at the bottom. We're going to tighten. And we're good. And it should look sort of like this. They're not coming out. Those cables got to plug into the back of the pie. Get it in there. Ah, oh. might be a problem getting both of these in there. Oh, there it goes. That's B is here, and then A. Forty five B is the brown white, forty five A is the brown. Same thing over here. So once we have all of the inverters wired up, our eighteen KPV and our Flexbus twenty one, we're gonna need to make some changes in the settings. So we're gonna click on configuration and go to the configuration page. Now, once we're on the configuration page, we're going to scroll down to where it says configure network connections. And we're going to see all of our Wi-Fi devices that are connected now. We should also see the USB connections that we've made. But before we can connect to the USB connections, we have to get rid of all the Wi-Fi connections so that we can just connect to the USB and not have Solar Assistant have my inverters connected via the Wi-Fi connections like I have right now. So the next thing we need to do is remove those Wi-Fi connections by going to Configure Network Connections. So once we get to this page, we should see uh, all of our network connections. We're going to have the data logger and the inverter serial number in here, which I'm hiding because uh, I don't want you to see that. You're just going to click remove next to each one of these so that you can actually delete the Wi-Fi connections before you connect to the USB so that you won't have dual connections to each inverter and confuse the software. So we got to first remove those and then we'll go through the process of adding the two new USB 0 and USB 1 connections to each inverter. So you're just going to click on remove and then click OK on each one of these. So once we remove all of those, what we're going to want to do is go back to our configurations page on Solar Assistant. And all we're going to do is we're going to shift select so that we get both of them. 
and then we're going to click save and then we're going to click connect and we should be good to go and we're back connected all right, so now we're going to switch the dongle back to the encrypted dongle and get rid of that older dongle. Say dongle! Again. Say dongle! Again, I dare you! I double dare you, mother... Uh, data logger on the Flexboss 21. That was giving me a problem with my solar assistant. But now that we've switched the solar assistant to wired... I should be able to switch it back and then have encrypted dongles for Wi-Fi connection. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just swap the dongle. And then we'll, if we have to reconnect it using the app, we will do so. There we go. So it recognized the dongle since it had been connected before. And now I have three lights. I didn't have to even go to the app. Awesome. So now that I have the encrypted dongle back on and my Pi has been hardwired, I noticed that is a, a little tight back here. If you look at how this thing is connected. So I decided to get a little bit of an extension. One of them, the wires is just short. I was just using what I had. Shouldn't have been such a cheapskate and actually gotten a longer wire, but um, cat uh, six cable. But um, I just used what I had laying around, and now, you know, i got to add this extension to kind of make this fit a little more comfortably. But uh, I'm going to add that now. So, yeah, I just added one of these USB uh, extensions, 6-inch. Actually, I put two of them. So now my Pi sits out a little to the front. I could access it. If I want to, I could tuck it behind there again. But, you know. A little simple USB extension. Makes life a little easier. It also makes it easier to connect on the back. With two of these converters hooked to the back, you wind up with uh, them sitting right on top of each other and one of them's at an angle. Now that I have the extension, one could sit flush on the back of the Pi and then with the extension, the other one is back there blinking at us. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video.